<laughs> Hi there. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you an update to the C Trader risk and reward tool. Um, what we've done is we've removed the floating panel and we've embedded the control panel onto the chart. And I'll give you a demonstration now to show you what we've done. Um, so this is C Trader you're looking at now. And I'm just going to open up. It's a CBOT, as you know, should know. I just typed in risk there to bring up the uh, tool. So just click and I'll go risk reward tool. Now, the difference with this one from the other one is you can decide where you want to put it on the chart. You can do top left, uh, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Now, we're actually removing bottom left mostly because I'll show you why, because the actual C bot will go down bottom left and you won't be able to put the control panel down there. So I'm just going to choose top right and apply that. And you can see that the C bot will go down on the bottom left. That's probably not going to have it in the bottom left. If I click start the C bot, um, you'll have a welcome screen. If you've purchased the product, you can just check this box and it will never show again. It just does a license check. Um, if you click next and it will come up, there you go. It's a control panel now, it's embedded onto your chart. Previously, if you've used this product um, or if you look at our other videos, you would have had a floating panel that you can drag and drop anywhere you want. Downside of that is you can easily lose where it is and not, um, it is very difficult to work out which chart it's actually attached to or it belongs to. Now, because it's embedded on the chart, it's easy for you to see and you can just switch, switch charts and actually get to the control really fast. So that's for that chart. I'm just going to put another one on this chart. I'll do one here. Again, I'll do this one at top right and press play. I'm going to I'm gonna leave that unchecked for now because I need that. But if you uncheck it, it won't show up again. OK, that's brought that one up to top right. I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to bring this one as top bottom left. Um, Type in risk again. Oops, I've misspelled that, sorry. R I S T K. And I'm going to do that one as bottom right, sorry. And start that one. Okay, so that's just showing you can move it around. I'm just going to do one more. I'm just going to add one to the fourth chart uh, to show you can put them on more. Okay, and I'm going to do that one as top right as well. And you have to press the play button. OK, so now they're on all the charts. So the main difference between the other one is um, if you're doing your trading, you can just switch between the charts now and the actual control panel will be on each chart in the place that you want to put it, depending on how your chart is doing, you know, what, what price action is going on on the chart, how many candles are displayed. You can move the control panel anywhere you want. I'll go through the controls in a minute. But what I'm going to do now is just show you that if you had it in a multi view like this, you've got your control panels there that you can actually now um, decide what you want to do with your chart. You could now what I'll do now. Obviously, you'll have a lot more real estate than this than me. I'm just going to get rid of the one on the right and I'll get rid of the one on the left. So it gives you a bit more real estate. You'll probably have a bigger monitor. This is only a smaller monitor. So you'll probably see it a lot easier than I am. But the whole idea with the embedded control panel is the fact that they're always going to be there. You're not going to get lost if you minimize it or move it off the screen. You already know, always know where they go. What I'm going to do with this one is just click the close button and I'm actually going to double click the actual if you can see this bottom left, I'm going to double click on the C bot, which brings up the positioning. OK, now I'm going to put that as top right as well and apply that just so they're all the same. OK, so again, if you do want to change the positioning, you just literally you have to stop the bot. You have to go into the settings for the C bot and change the positioning and restart again. Now, what I'm going to do is just just to show you how you would have it on all your charts. You can have multiple um, charts open and have this control panel for doing it on all the charts. Um, what I'm going to do now is go back to a single chart and actually just show you in action. Now, the first thing you've got up here is minimize. Now, this allows you to minimize it. So if you don't want to see it on the chart and you want it, it's taking up too much space or it's in the way, you can just minimize it and take it out of the way. Now, these two buttons up here, the up and down arrows, these open the long drawing tool and the short drawing tool. So if I click long drawing tool, you can see it's come up. Now, the reason it chose these values that it's come up there, the how high and low, it's actually using the last swing in high, last swing high and last swing low. Now, I'm not going to go into details how this actually works because the other videos we've got will explain it. So go to our YouTube channel, look at the other videos for the risk and reward tool, and it'll actually explain how it works. So I'll just briefly go through the settings. I'll just open up the settings window, this one here. If I click on that, it opens up the settings window. You can see it's using use last swing, okay? So it's using the last, last swing high and last swing low to decide your risk and reward of where your positions will go. Now that opens up the uh, buy. If you click the short drawing tool, that'll open up the short drawing tool, moves it to the left so it's out of the way. If you didn't have the buy open, it would just put it in the right place, okay? Now, what you might notice if you've actually purchased the previous version, uh, this one is a lot faster. It doesn't wait a few seconds for it to draw it, so it should be a lot quicker for doing it. It doesn't move the mouse away from the control panel. So we fixed a lot of bugs 
um, and little nuances that people have complained about and we've put it on this control panel. Now, you may still find some issues with the drawing tool on high resolution monitors. If you do, we'll, we'll give you a refund for that. Uh, but mostly, most of the bugs have been fixed. They should be fine. And we advise you to download a 14 day trial version anyway, just to make sure that it's working on your machine as it should, okay? So these are the two drawing tools. Now, again, I've got this drawing tool open. Now, if I want up a buy position, I just click on the buy button and it's just opened up a buy position. It's put the take profit on the target of the last swing high and low. And again, you could, like we've explained in the other videos, you can just readjust these on the fly. So you can move them around where you want. And on the re uh, reward tool uh, information panel, it gives you all the information you need, position size, risk and reward ratio, um, how many pips you're away. It gives you all the information, how much risk you're using. Again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. The actual um, main videos will actually tell you more about that, okay? So it's gonna close this position. You can also do pending orders and stuff like that. If I go into settings, you can only, when you open a position, um, you can say, I only want to risk 20 pounds or 10 pounds. And as you do your risk and reward tour and you move it all around, it will only, um, it will calculate your volume size so that you only risk that amount. And you can only risk up a certain percentage of your equity or your balance. I'm going to quickly go through this really fast. Um, but again, we have done this previously. You can choose order confirmation. So when you do it, you can choose your commission you're using so it calculates um, the risk and reward based on your commission. Um, you can choose a market order, a limit or stop order, an expiry time for the pending orders. You can put a static stop loss in. Um, you can use last swing, as I said, auto position sizing. Some people would like the auto position sizing turned off. We do have a support uh, page that actually tells you all about this. And again, the videos will actually give you more information. So you can trade indices. Remember, stop loss, take profit. You've got opacity for the drawing tool. And again, on here, you can see that green color there. If I wanted to change that to something a bit of a lighter green, I just close that. And I think you've got to close the tool and restart. And it will come up with a lighter screen, or it should do. I think that was it. Reward tool. Let me go back in, change blue. And that should have done that. Okay, yeah, there you go. I don't know what's going on there. So you can actually do that and you can change the colors. You can move the object around anywhere you want. Probably going on to this video a bit longer than I I've wanted to. And you can adjust this as well. So you can adjust your own risk and reward values before you actually um, go in and submit an order. Like I just did there, just submitted an order there. So it gives you all that information that you can do it automated or manual to readjust the actual values. Um, again, this button here that says hide, you can hide the information panels and show, you can show the information panels again if you don't want to see them. Uh, I'm just going to go into settings and change this color back uh, to green because I like green. And I think it normally changes over time anyway. Um, but what I'm going to do is just close the tool and reopen it. Okay, now opacity, I'll just be very briefly. Opacity, if I change this, it goes up to 255. If I change it to 255, I think it sets it as a solid border. Yep, a completely solid border. And it goes all the way down to zero. And zero means it's completely opaque. So if I set that to say five and save that, and then open it up again, you can see it's very, very lightly opacity on there. It's very, very, uh, not very shown so well. So I think the default value, which is 50, is probably what you want to use. It all depends on your eyes. The whole idea behind this is so that you can actually see the candles under the shaded area. Now you can actually drag it left and right, make the box bigger. So it's got full control to do stuff like this. Okay, so there you go, that's that. Uh, it's a brief overview. So this was just to show you that. We have got more videos regarding this tool and I'm gonna show you our YouTube channel. So if you're not familiar with our YouTube channel, then you can come and subscribe to us. We're a growing family of uh, C Trader users and we've got a lot of information all about different products. And you can see here, it's got the um, risk and board tool here. This is for the older versions. I'm just trying to find out if I've got a particular um, tool. No, there isn't. So to find out this one, I think you have to go under let me find it. See Trader Professional Indicators. You'll find it there. But also, if you go to our product page, I'm going to drag this across now. This is our product page. This is where you can download a 14-day trial or you can actually download the product. This will tell you some information about the tool uh, if you just want to read it. And again, there'll be a video at the bottom here. But if you go to the user guide, okay, and on the user guide, this gives you more information about the settings explained. It gives you all the information in more detail about the settings, um, submitting orders, and again, there's a video for market orders and pending orders. So you can access the videos from here. If you go to additional help, it'll give you a bit more information there. We're going to add some more information about um, 
position sizing and the new control panel. Now, if you click on the link here, video tutorials, you should find all the videos here that you want to access to actually use it for more information. Okay. So if you don't know who we are, we're clickagro.com. We supply trading software for the C Trader trading platform. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps. Thank you very much.